Hey, thanks for joining me. Travis from The Knife Joker. Today coming at you with, well, got a uh, mail call. So an unboxing today from The Knife Joker. Basically Friday, my weekly update. And well, got a mail call. I think I know what's in here. Being that um at Blade Show West 21, I was overwhelmed by some YouTube people. Overwhelmed by Lefty EDC. There at Blade Show. He came by the booth. Also D Tom Knives and Gear. He came by. And I believe Knives Fast also came by. He just didn't have the uh you know sticker with him. So they were telling me you got to see this knife dude. And well, we saw the knife dude and uh, talked about his Black Widow pass around. Offered him up a couple Riot K2s from our exclusive. Well, I'm going to get them from us. So yeah, offered those up and uh, see if they want to do the pass around. So I believe that's what this is here. I get in here. I don't usually do a unboxing on camera, but got that other exclusive from Riot. Oh, with some tape on there now. A K2 collector. The one that we didn't do in the pass around, I think those were gone by the time we started doing this pass around. So let's see what's in this thing. And here they are. The two K2s from the mail call. Not like I've never seen these knives or nobody's seen them. And now they've been reviewed like seven more times than before. So yeah, it was pretty cool to see everybody's opinion and review style and so forth like that. What they were thinking of when they had these knives in hand. Let's check the condition of these babies after... Black Widow pass around. There's that worker K2. Here's this tactical one. Get this up around. See how they held up. Been handled by like 10 people now. Oh man, they feel great. So yeah, there they are. Got these back after Justin passed them around. And you really gotta applaud these guys. All of them, I mean, they did the review just out of the goodness of their own heart. Of course, they paid the forwarding to mail these suckers around too, so pretty nice to introduce, or be introduced to Justin and Knife Dude. You follow them on, you find them on YouTube. All these guys are you, well, obviously, YouTube guys. And then there's the three. Oh, I get all these. Um, uh, hold them. These three, all knife of Joker exclusives. And will more come out? Um, geez, I mean, will. Yeah, we hope so. Be nice to get a few more of these. I mean, these are gone now. Um, besides maybe this one. Maybe this one could be let go to the wild. As yeah, I have one I won't let go. Um, my own. And another tactical one. And then of course those collectors which are gone. So yeah, will ever um will there ever be more available? Um let's hope so. So thanks Justin. Thanks everybody in the pass around for passing these babies around and Getting them back to us here at TKJ. And just continuing the mail call of the K2s. Of course, hopefully you see my video on these. If not uh, Jim Skelton's or any of the people here in the pass around. That stonewashed titanium. Plain titanium. The worker version, that titanium backspacer, a little proud, 
There, and it's worn down on the edge. I hate to look worn. And as you can see, this, well, I don't know what everybody did in the pass around, but you can't tell that this one's even been handled. I can't. That Riot centering. That Tonto blade. Yeah, it curves up at the tip a little bit. Not perfectly straight on the back. It curves up so that Japanese style Tonto. Riot satin hollow grind. That hand satin. Hand ground. Just super consistent. Of course, these exclusives being M390. hollow and then that flat grind right there at the tip of course they're right on bearings once you get past that uh little detent ball that detent area pretty darn smooth of course these k2 is not a lot of jumping just that jumping down there on the back actually works pretty well in both holds, whether it be that reverse grip on your Tonto, have this backspacer jumping and that jumping there, which I never hold the knife like this, but yeah, if you're a fighter, a Tonto fighter, I guess that's probably the way to hold it. And of course, the jumping here on the back. Mostly what I think about, I don't think about this too much when I'm using the knife. Let's check out that tactical one as well. Of course, that milled titanium. Oh, people have called it all kinds of things. That Batman. That armadillo. That, uh, well, they called it that dragon scale. Pretty cool how the slants just get ever so slightly less and less as it goes up. And, of course, this neural part, not only does it, well, it looks cool. And, uh, yeah, it does its job. It gives you some grip. But it also feels pretty cool in your hand. kind of tickles your hand as you're holding it. Of course, that PVD blade made to look worn. There's the hair there. Of course, I don't think these are used in the pass around. Just analyze. So yeah, that blade made to look a little more worn than the handle. That simple pocket clip. Of course, these do have a steel lock bar insert. Giving a super solid lockup. You can see that ceramic detent ball there as well. And of course, this one's M390. Uh, just for greens, uh, it wasn't part of the pass around, but yeah, it's just here in my pocket. Check out that collector. Just finish out the group of all three. That zirconium backspacer and clip. That bead blast titanium. That fat carbon fiber scale. And these are hand, hand rubbed. Of course, this one has some tape on it. Tape boogers or whatever you want to call it. It's that hand rubbed M390. Still that hollow grind, but yeah, the hollow grind, a little harder to see on the hand rub. Which is your favorite? Leave that in the comments. The worker, the tactical, the collector. Obviously, I couldn't make, uh, well, I couldn't make my decision. I had to keep one of each. Of course, I love the K2. And yeah, once again, it was it was pretty cool to watch everybody's different opinion of, um, you know, of the 
K2 of the design of it, uh, how well they made it and all that. So once again, try to get all three of these side by side on camera, um, facing away from the camera, coming around the back. This is gonna be nearly impossible, but there they are. And once again, let's thank the knife dude, Justin, for you know getting this pass around going. Thank everybody who reviewed these knives, took the time out of their own lives, took the money out of their own pockets to get the pass around, keep the pass around going. And I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully the knife community appreciates it. I like, um, well, obviously it was awesome getting these knives to exist and having everybody here uh, on YouTube to help share them with the world. It's exciting stuff if you're into that uh, kind of stuff. Obviously you are if you're watching this video. So if you are, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give us a subscribe, check out everybody from that Black Rat Widow pass around. Probably leave some links there in the first comment on all these good guys. And um, that's another beauty of YouTube. Let's just say you don't like certain YouTuber. Oh, there's another. There's another one. We all have our own personalities, and it, it's fun. It's fun to check it out.